Hello, and welcome back to Opera La Moda, the place where fashion, opera, and identity intersect. My name is Francesca Federico, and I'm an opera singer who used to work in the fashion industry. First of all, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to all of you who have already subscribed to the Opera La Moda YouTube channel and have followed me on Instagram at Opera La Moda. I'm so excited to continue this journey and provide some cute, fresh content for you over the next, you know, however long. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do smash that subscribe button below the video so that YouTube will acknowledge me as a real person and direct other people to these videos and this channel. So this week on Opera La Moda, I wanted to go right into the belly of the beast and talk about audition wear. I know it's a hot topic at the best of times, but now particularly since the world is opening up and we may actually have a real live audition season this year, it's something that we kind of have to confront and do some deep thinking into how we kind of want to portray ourselves come fall 2021. If you've been like me and have been wearing sweatpants for the majority of the last 18 months, it might seem a little bit daunting to go back into your closet and put on a dress and put on heels for the first time in a while. So in this video, I'm going to share with you five audition looks that I am loving for this upcoming audition season and the reasons that I like them and also ways that you can mix and match them depending on your level of comfort and the kind of image you want to portray. Bear in mind, I have not gone shopping for the purpose of this video. I've literally just thrown a bunch of my clothes from my closet on my bed and put together a couple of looks that I think are fun and fresh and kind of different um, for your regular, you know, opera singer auditions. I'd like to do a little background first. What is the current standard for audition attire? So there are currently a few standard options for auditions that sort of fall into categories based on what type of voice you have. And I talk about this a little bit more in my intro video. If you're a higher voiced person, you're generally expected to wear a dress or a skirt, normally in a solid color and hitting your knees or below the knees with a pair of heels sometimes flats depending on you know your height and how open-minded the audition panel might be and then if you have a lower voice you can often branch out into pants jumpsuits suits etc particularly if you are auditioning for a male role i think these rules are a little bit stifling they're a little bit black and white and i'm here to tell you that you don't actually have to abide by these sort of rigid set of standards for your own life for example if you are a coloratura soprano and you walk into an audition room wearing a jumpsuit as soon as you say which aria you're singing and begin to sing the audition panel will understand exactly who you are and what kind of roles they'll be casting you for so i don't think you really have to worry about any of this kind of gender binary nonsense in terms of putting together your looks. So the point I'm making overall is that you probably have a lot more in your closet than you think you do in terms of audition wear. You just haven't maybe been thinking of them, categorizing them in your brain as audition outfits. So one piece of vocab I want you to remember for this video is the term hero piece. A hero piece is the starring item of an outfit and you can build the rest of the look around this particular piece. The hero piece can also be mixed and matched with other supporting pieces to create different outfits. This first outfit is definitely the simplest, but I think it has some really special details that elevate it to a more interesting level. This is a black polka dotted midi length dress and features princess seaming under the bust, dual slits on either side of the skirt, and a structured shoulder, giving it a 1940s feel. I like a repetitive pattern on an audition dress, like a dot, stripe, or zigzag because it adds interest but isn't distracting like a more complex pattern can be. I'm wearing black heeled sandals here, but red, blue, or green shoes would also be great for a pop of color. The rule for heels that I generally use is, if you wear a skirt with a hem that falls above the knee, wear short heels. If your skirt falls below the knee, the higher the heel, the better. 
I'm wearing pearl studded hoop earrings and a golden pearl lariat necklace as accessories. I like pearls because they're reminiscent of the polka dots. It's a really comfortable dress to sing in and in terms of sizing, I would always recommend a size up for an audition dress because you want to make sure you have plenty of room to breathe and move around freely. In this second outfit, you can see that I'm wearing a slightly shorter heel because the hem of the skirt falls right above the knee. The pattern is a little more complicated but is still a repetitive pattern and from far away it really reads as a neutral. I like to style this pink faux wrap dress in a bit of a 1970s style with this vintage gold belt. I feel a little bit like a retro airline stewardess or something. The hero piece is obviously the dress. The pattern includes white, black, and beige so you can pull any of these three colors in your supporting items to pull the look together. I'm pulling out the beige and adding golden honey tones for warmth and using smaller accessories since the dress is a little bit busier. The dress is a polyester jersey blend which makes it ideal for traveling because it doesn't wrinkle. This next outfit utilizes separates, which is one of my favorite ways to experiment with audition styles, as most people have several blouses, skirts, or trousers in their closet that can easily be repurposed for singing. For example, I wear this blouse with jeans and this skirt with t-shirts most of the time, so as long as you keep them clean, they're very useful in many different situations. This is a navy blue silk high neck blouse with mutton sleeves, which is one of my favorite silhouettes because it's both a very historical style but also minimal enough to work with many modern outfits. This vintage skirt is the hero piece of the outfit. It is super comfortable and has a great shape. It's a more complicated print than the ones I've showed you previously, which is why the rest of the look is all very muted in color. I've tied the separates together with a simple belt that breaks up the look and silver and crystal earrings as this color palette incorporates cooler tones. This is my trousers look. In a future video, I'll probably do a full suit or jumpsuit outfit, but I'm still on the hunt for the perfect item. In this case, I'm wearing a pair of flat-fronted striped trousers in a neutral color and have paired them with this tapestry-printed corset top that I actually bought as part of a Halloween costume. <laughs> The hero piece of the outfit is actually the blazer because it's such a great audition staple to have in your closet and really pulls the look together. Since the colors are so muted here, I've added some statement earrings in a light color as well as light colored heels. You can go big with makeup and jewelry in this case to add some further contrast to the look. Again, these are separates that you can probably find easily in your closet, just juiced up a little with the help of accessories. This final look is extremely transitional, extremely comfortable, but is still formal enough for an audition, in my opinion. The hero piece of the look is the skirt. It's a silk pleated midi length skirt that can be dressed up or down really easily. I prefer a pleated skirt to a pencil skirt, which is a more traditional audition look, because it's easier to move and breathe in and is much more modern as well. I've paired it with a snake printed top that you can wear tucked in or out, and the silver sequin jacket that takes it from a daytime look to something fancy enough for an opera audition. As I said before, since this is a longer length skirt, it looks great with a higher heel as shown here. Thanks so much for watching this week's video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to Opera La Moda and follow me at Opera La Moda on Instagram. If you have any further questions, or suggestions for future videos, don't hesitate to comment underneath this video and I will definitely get back to you soon. Can't wait, hugs, kisses, and signing off for now.